Hey, hey guys. guys. Um, G, this video is not even about G's work. He's here because, hey, he's just cute and he makes the video. So anyway, um, are our smart devices making us dumber? That's a good question. Now, listen, before some of you smarter than smart people come after me and say there is no scientific evidence that technology hampers or hinders our biological cognitive abilities. I understand that. I understand that. I'm just saying when you don't have to spell because you have autocorrect and auto populate and all this good stuff, sometimes our spelling is hindered. <clears throat> but my smart device made me smarter because it made me look up something I otherwise wouldn't have known. Let me tell you what I was doing. I was writing canceled on something and I was like, okay, how do you spell canceled? Because you don't have to um, spell. And, and I was like, is it C-A-N-C-E-L-E-D, C-A-N-C-E-L-L-E-D? So I looked it up and guess what I find out when I look uh, under Grammarly? Both are correct. Both are correct. C-A-N-C-E-L-E-D is preferred here in the United States. It's, it's the American uh, um, English version, but British English prefers C-A-N-C-E-L-L-E-D. They're both correct, kind of like gray and gray. G-R-E-Y-G-R-A-Y, both spellings of the same word. It's just that other English-speaking countries prefer it a different way. Wow, I was today years old when I learned that. Just thought I would share.